Good morning students. Welcome to Leela's tutorial. So today we will discuss about zebra fish and its significance as model organism. So here the zebra fish is also referred scientifically as Danio radio. Right? It is mostly inhabitant of Himalayan region in the South Asia that is near Ganga river in the Ganga river. So it is a tropical freshwater fish and it is a bony fish so it belongs to the family Cyprinidae right and belongs to the class Actinopteridae because it is a ray finned fish the fins are in ray shaped okay then here why you are taking zebra fish as a model organism that is because of its similarities or you can say they have physiological and the genetic similarities as humans okay so here uh, it is nearly 70 percent of the human disease genes are similar to that zebra fish right and also these zebra fishes are having ability to regenerate heart kidney liver pancreas and fins right so this regenerative capacity of these zebra fish is a significant application in molecular biology Right? And also in the drug discovery. If you want to go for the testing of some drugs or pharmaceutical chemicals or any disease related uh, genes, we can uh, perform on that so that they have ability to regain again the damaged tissue or the organ. And we can study how the organ is reverting it or how it is regaining its ability to complete the uh, healthy functional organ. Right? So here, apart from these characters, zebra fish is also having certain salient features or the important features which are making them to use as a model organism in molecular biology. So first one is, it is embryo development is rapid outside the mother. So normally these zebra fishes, right, they are freshwater fishes, inhabitant of freshwater and they lay many number of eggs right that means they are able to produce many number of embryos at a time so when they are producing many number of embryos at a time these embryos are used in drug testing right so you have so many embryos which are genetically more or less similar right so when you go for the testing of the drug then you can have an accurate result right so here the embryo Development is outside. It is not inside the mother. The embryo development is occurring outside the mother. And another benefit thing is they are optically clear. See these uh, zebra fishes, the embryo at the embryo stage or the early developmental stage, these zebra fishes are transparent, right? They are optically clear. So here the developing embryo, you can uh, visualize them. It gives the transparency of their developing embryo can be visualized, right? And you can know the complete anatomy. You can see or observe the complete anatomy of that organism without any damage, right? So as they are transparent, they are optically clear and we can visualize its anatomy. And then it is a very fast developing embryo. Within four days, the embryo will develop into a complete adult and their lifespan is nearly three years. If you are culturing them in the lab condition, they will be alive up to five years, right? And another thing is here, the development of the embryo is very fast, I said. So it is attaining the adult stage at up to within four days, right? But here you can see the 18 hours old embryo has developed eyes segmenting muscles and brain right so that means the organ development is much more faster when compared to the other model organisms so within 18 hours they are able to develop and everything is transparent their body is transparent so you can visualize them there is an uh, uh, access right access for the observation of internal development of that embryo then coming to the as i told they lay many number of eggs right they lay nearly 200 eggs per week 
so you get many number of embryos for the study so the lifespan of the zebra fish is up to 3 or up to 5 years under laboratory conditions so every per week they are able to produce lay 200 eggs so the research will be very easy when you are going to have so many number of model organisms within a short time you can go for studying the progeny of them also not only the single zebra fish but you can go for their offspring study also right within one week when you are getting 200 so its lifespan is up to three years minimum right so so many generations you can study and also main thing is they play a significant role in molecular biology or developmental biology and toxicology in order to test the toxicity of the chemicals then in drug discovery where you can test the drug on the developing embryos right then you have transgenic studies how the transgene introduced into the animal or into the embryo how it is uh, developing that everything can be studied right then the human diseases as these uh, zebra fishes are having 70 percent of human disease genes similar to the to the humans right they are having 70 percent of human disease uh, causing genes similar so you can study the disease and also you can study the drugs how they are acting on this disease recovery process right so here as they are having these physiological and the genetic genes similar to the humans this make the zebra fish a model organism for the research purpose right not only in that they are also used in checking the human diseases cancer etc right so as they are having same cardiac uh, uh, and the valvular diseases right the so we can study that uh, those diseases and also how the vascular system how about they as they have same digestive system right they have the same digestive system and uh, metabolic system everything is more or less similar to the human so and also they are able to regenerate the organs so all these features make this zebra fish to use as an model organism is that clear